Hello guys, in this tutorial we are going to see how to do regression in SAS Enterprise Miner. Here I am using SAS Enterprise Miner 13.2. So this is the window which you are seeing is SAS Enterprise Miner. Here I have added a new diagram. Inside this diagram I have added the two nodes, final which is a data set name and this is a regression node. You will find this regression node under the model tab. So these are the tabs which you have for SAS Enterprise Miner. Uh, actually these are the tabs which I am licensed. You may find additional or less tabs depending on your license. So uh, our target here is to learn about regression. So it is available under the model tab. So these are the models. If you see there are several models. So the regression model is here. Uh, if you notice that this regression is used for both linear and logistic regression. So uh, how it works is when the target variable is linear, sorry, when the target variable is continuous, uh, eminer will automatically choose linear regression. When the target variable is nominal or ordinal or binary, it is going to choose the logistic regression. So this is a data set. Uh, here we can see what are the variables we have in this data set. So as you can see, there is role level. So uh, these two are the important things which we need to take care. If the role is target and if the level is I am not able to choose interval. Okay, if the level is binary, then this regression node is going to calculate logistic regression. If the target is, let's choose the target as role as target, and the level is interval, here we will get only linear regression. So I am not going to save anything here. This is just for our simple walkthrough. Uh, in our next tutorial, we can see a data set and apply the linear and logistic regression and we can see the results there. And so in this regression node, let's see the properties of the node. So these are the properties. So in this properties, the train is a variables. Okay, actually I, I have to connect this node. If I connect, I will get all the values in this data set to this node. You can see here. So here we are going to select uh, whether it is default or not or whether you want this variable in report if you want to choose as target and the role you have to do it in the first node this data set node so in this regression node you can see we have regression type and link function so by default it is logic function Whenever you, the target variable is binary, it choose different log, logic function and for unary, it has different logic function. The logic function for binary, unary and binary ordinal and nominal will change. And the next thing we use, we can use is the mode, selection mode. So actually this is a variable selection. Uh, it has three options forward backward stepwise so let's see what this three means in forward it selects the best one variable model and then it selects the two variable among those that contain the first selected variable so it's going to compare which variable is best it selects the variable one by one 
in backward model it will select all the variable first and then it keeps on removing the variable from the model which is lesser than the significant value which is a p value uh, we can see it backward uh, yeah this is this is where you will mention your p value for backward and then another one is stepwise this is uh, similar to forward selection model the difference is that variable already in the model do not necessarily stay that after each variable is entered into the model this model looks at all the variables already included in the model and deletes any variable that is not significant at the specified level so these three and selection model you can do and the regression type you can choose cat clock lock or probit uh, I mostly go with this logic function and another thing you need to take care is missing variables you, this regression is not doesn't take missing variables in account it's not like decision tree decision tree will take the missing variables but when you are going to do regression in a data set you must first impute the variables Thank you guys.